In this video, I am going to explain you the theorem. An edge E of G is a cut edge of G if and only if E is contained in no cycle of G. That is, this is an if and only if statement. So here what I am going to do is, I will assume this part and I will prove this. By assuming this, I will prove this. And in the converse part, I assume this and I will prove this. Okay, so that is, uh, now what I am going to do is, I am going to assume this first. Assume an edge. Look at the proof. I am assuming this, that is an edge E of G is a cut edge of G. Okay, now I, am go I will prove uh, E is contained in no cycle of G. Okay, so without loss of general generality, what we are doing is you are assuming one more thing that is the graph given they are given here is connected. That is how you are assuming. Okay, this assumption is from the statement, and this assumption you are doing. The reason is because by assuming G is connected, nothing is going to change. Okay. So using, uh, by saying G is connected, you are going to prove this for, prove this theorem. Okay. So we may assume that uh, the graph G is connected. So now what you are doing is, G is connected means what? Look at this graph here. This is a graph G. Consider like this. And this graph G is connected, right? No breaks are there. They are connected. Right? That is if you want to go to Y, you can go. Without lifting up the pencil, you can go to Y. If you want to go to V, you can go to V uh, like this without lifting up the pencil. Right? So, from this you can say this G is connected. So, okay. So, here what I am going to do. Here consider this graph G. And let E be the cut edge of G. So, here... Uh, consider this is an edge this the name of this edge is u okay so what you are saying is yeah in our assumption you have uh, you assumed that e is a cut edge of g right so that is why in this line you are saying e is a let e be the cut edge of g what is mean by cut edge of g so in a graph if there is a cut if you want to say an edge as a cut edge only if if you remove this edge this graph should be disconnected or this graph should be splitted into more than one components. Then you say that edge as a, as a cut edge. Okay, so here consider this is an edge. If you want to say this E as a cut edge, then if I eliminate this edge E from this graph, what will happen? I will get graph like this. Here, here is a in this graph G. Uh, this is an edge. This edge is eliminated here. So now here is no edge. So now look at this graph. This graph becomes disconnected, right? So that is why. That is I. I hope you understood what is meant by cut edge of G. Okay. So let E be the here you are taking E is the cut edge of G. So by the definition, omega of G minus E greater than omega of g that means uh, what is mean by this the components of g minus e will be in the if e is a cut edge then by the definition you can write like this component of g minus e will be greater than the component of g that is consider this graph g in this that is here this is omega of g that is for a graph g how many components are there one component it's a connected graph this all is a one component but when you look at this graph this graph is denoted as g minus e so from the graph g you eliminated e you eliminated e so now this graph is called g minus e graph so look at this graph this graph is having two components this is one com it's it is disconnected right so here this is one component and this is another component so from this we can say if e is a cut edge then by the definition component of g minus e will be greater than component of g right because in the, the component of g minus we have two components in g minus e graph and in g graph you have one component right 
so from this we can see oh, say omega of g minus e that is component of g minus e if e is a cut edge of g then by the definition uh, component of g minus e will be greater than omega component of g so now there exist vertices okay you are saying if it is like that okay i have drawn everything that you are going to describe in this proof in the form of figure i i uh, put that you are going to describe in this theorem as a figure here okay so here have a look at this they are talking about there exist two vertices okay of g in a graph g there are two vertices are existing and this two vertices are connected in g but not in g minus c what they are saying there are two vertices are existing and in the graph g and they are saying that u and v are connected look at this graph g is u and v are connected yes u and v are connected i will show you how this is not connected directly but they are connected that is from u to v you can go right without lifting up the pencil you can go uh, from u uh, you can go to x and from x you can go to y and from y you can go to v so u and v are connected in g but not in g minus e here this is g minus e graph right so here look at this u and v but not in g minus e but u and v are not connected in g minus e right right in this graph g minus e this u and v are not connected that is you can go to go from u to x but you could not go to x to y because there is no edge right that edge is uh, removed right then how could you go to v from u you could not go so you so this so uh, from this sentence um there so that uh, you could feel um you can accept this sentence right there exist vertices u and v of g from this figure comparing this sentence with the figure is everything is logical acceptable right there exist vertices u and v of g are connected in g but not in g minus e i hope you understood the uh, um a logic behind this sentence now uh, in the next page for some uv path in p in g e is necessary that is e is necessary if if, uh, uh, if there is a new v path uv path means from u to v if you want to go e is the edge e is necessary right if you want to have a path to uv what you need you need this edge this edge e is necessary so that is what here uh we have written that for some uv path p uv path here we are denoting it as capital p so for some uv path p in g e is necessary okay if in the next line if x y are the ends of e that x precedes y on p so what they are saying x y are here this is an edge for this edge one end of the vertex is x and another end of the vertex is y right so that is what in that sentence we have uh, if x and y are the ends of if x and y are the ends of e okay and that x precedes y on p okay x precedes after x the sorry uh only after the x vertex we have y right that is what we have written here if x and y are the two ends of e and that x precedes y on p what is mean by p i told you what is mean by p p is a path of uv uv path is denoted by p right what is uv path this is uv path this uv path is denoted by p right so in this sentence if x and y are the two ends of p and x precedes y on p in the path p in the path p all these are happening right so x and y are the two ends of p means x is coming after y on the path p so that is what written in the sentence in g minus e now they are talking about g minus e graph that is from the graph now e is 
eliminated. So in G minus E, U is connected to X by a section of P. So look at this G minus E graph. Here U is connected by the section of, uh, connected to X, right, by the section of P. All these are uh, the are P, right, or the UV paths. So here we are saying in G minus E, U is connected to X by the section of P and Y is connected. Is that visible? Yes. Y is connected to V by the section of P. Okay. So these are the what uh, till till now we have seen the um, what what can we say these are the narrative. Okay. These are uh, in these sentences they are talking about what is connect what what is the graph here and if you eliminate E from the graph what is going to happen and what where will be the vertex U and where will be the vertex V and where will be the X and where will be the Y and what is the path of path UV. Right. You are talking about all these things. Now only you are going to enter into the main thing that is. If E were in the cycle C. Okay. At the end what you have to prove. E is contained in. Can you see this? We have to prove E is contained in no cycle of G. Right. So here in, in our line that you are going to learn. Um. Uh, now is if E were in the cycle you are taking if suppose if E is in the cycle what you have to prove you have to prove E is not in the cycle but you are taking if if uh, E is in the cycle C excuse me okay <coughs> oh my god somebody is thinking okay now if E were in a cycle C then x and y would be connected in g minus e right if suppose imagine if e is in the cycle if e is in the cycle so here consider this graph this e is in the cycle right this is a cycle so e is in the cycle if e were in the cycle x and y be connected in g minus e that is if you eliminate this e from this cycle right even if you eliminate this E from this cycle, that is you get G minus E. In this G minus E, X and Y would be connected. Okay. If E is in the cycle C, then X and Y would be connected in G minus E, right? In G minus E, X and Y would be connected by the path C minus E. Consider this is a cycle. So, if you eliminate E from this cycle, you do denote it as C minus E. So, in this sentence, I hope you understood what is there in this sentence. If, if E were in my, I, I think my explanation is not that proper. But, I hope you, you uh, understood what I am trying to uh, say okay if e is where in the cycle if e is in the cycle this is a cycle okay because here if i start from here okay if i start from this vertex and i could come back to the same vertex right uh, without lifting up the pencil so this is a cycle so uh, from this cycle imagine if i am eliminating this e so i get this kind of figure so now this this figure is uh, you can say this figure as this is a path and from this cycle this is a cycle okay from this cycle you eliminated e so i can denote this as c minus e right so c minus i am considering this as a c minus e path so okay <laughs> whatever if e were in a cycle c x and y would be connected in g minus e Okay, in G minus C, even if there is, uh, if E is in the cycle, okay, and if I remove uh, E from this, I get this figure. In this figure, X and Y is connected, right? How it is connected? I can go to Y using this path, right? Without lifting up the, pen, without lifting up the pencil. So, 
that is what in this sentence okay okay now thus u and v would be connected in g minus c so if x and y are connected then u and v are also connected in g minus e right yes so which is contradiction to our assumption what you have took u and v are connected in g but not in g minus e that is how you have wrote uh, just before this in the starting portion of the proof but at the end what you are saying you are saying that uh, u and v would be connected in g minus e right so there is a contradiction to our assumption so what is our assumption e is a cut edge of g if e is a cut edge then that graph should not be a then if e is a cut edge then g minus e should not be a connected graph okay after taking out an edge the graph should be if e consider e as an edge okay from the graph uh, g you are taking out e okay if you want to uh, for example okay you can look at this figure also consider this graph if i want to say this e as a cut edge one leaf if i remove this e from this graph i get g minus e graph right that g minus e graph should be disconnected only then i can say this e as a cut edge okay but here is what happening you are having uv at the end of this part you are getting that u and v are connected in g minus e this should not happen okay so this is contradiction to our assumption a g is a cut edge of g so what is wrong what is wrong here so here you have told that e is in the cycle right so that is what you have wrongly assumed so e cannot be in the cycle c of g hence e is contained in no cycle of g there is a contradiction right so this is wrong e is not in the cycle so e is contained in no cycle of g okay this is how the first part of this theorem proved and in the converse part what we are doing is assume the second part and we will prove the first part that is you are going to prove an edge g of g is a cut edge of g that is what you are going to prove by assuming e is contained in no cycle of g okay so here what i am going to do assume e is contained in no cycle of g to prove an edge g of g is a cut edge of g so suppose you are taking you have to prove e is a cut edge but you are taking suppose e is not a cut edge of g if it is like that that is you are taking e is equal to x y e is equal to x y e is in e this edge is called e choose this edge as e so the two end of this edge is x and y therefore suppose this the name of this edge is x y so suppose e is equal to x y is not a cut edge it means what it is in the cycle this edge is in the cycle what well, if the edge is in the cycle then you could not say that edge is a cut edge okay so that is why suppose e is equal to x y is not a cut edge of g then by the definition of cut edge you can write like this if it is not a cut edge of g, g what will happen then the component of g minus e will not be greater than the component of g right because uh, if e is not a cut edge then the graph is not disconnected okay there will be the one component as it is a, a, like it like in the graph g in g minus e uh, e also you will have the same component that is you will have one component and in g also you will have one component when if you have if e is not a cut edge so here you are saying is not a cut edge so you are getting like this by the definition of cut edge you are writing like this omega of g minus e is equal to omega of g since there is a xy path in g here consider this graph g there is a xy path in g in this graph g here you can see the xy path in g and xy are in the 
सेम कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ जी राइट एक्स एंड वाई आर इन द सेम कॉम्पोनेंट द ग्राफ इज नॉट डिस्कनेक्टेड सो एक्स एंड वाई आर इन द सेम कॉम्पोनेंट इट फॉलोज दैट एक्स एंड वाई आर इन द सेम कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ जी माइनस ई इवन आफ्टर एलिमिनेटिंग दिस ई फ्रॉम दिस ग्राफ जी वॉट विल हैपन एक्स एंड वाई विल बी इन द सेम कॉम्पोनेंट राइट एक्स वाई द बिकॉज द ग्राफ इज नॉट disconnected so even now after eliminating the edge e the graph uh, in the graph x and y are in the same component of g minus c hence there is x y path in p but then e is in the cycle p plus e so if it is like that then what does it mean e is in the cycle the name of the cycle is you are taking this path this path denoting this path as p okay so so from all these things what you can say e is in the cycle one day if e is in the cycle this all will happen so that is why but then e is in the cycle p plus e they are denoting the cycle as p plus this edge e so which is contradiction to our assumption why our assumption is e is contained in no cycle of g but here you are getting e is a cycle so here is a contradiction so what is wrong you have you you have took that e is not a cut cut edge that is wrong yes e is a cut edge so here comes a contradiction right so you can say e is a cut edge of g so finally you proved this theorem